As we're looking outside, things are much clearer. First warning radar network is nice and dry as we are starting off your afternoon here on your Friday and of course starting off the weekend with that nice weather. So as we're headed into the next couple of hours, we are starting to notice those dew points are slightly higher and as we head into the afternoon, temperatures will be in the upper 70s with that shower chance as we head through the overnight hours. That's kind of the perfect time for a shower chance. Of course, we need the rain and as we're looking outside, we're really not expecting that that'll impact many if any weekend plans looking towards the foothills. We have that shower chance that increases as we head into the later part of the overnight hours and it starts a little bit earlier than it does in the triad. Our western spots are the most likely to see any impact at all from the rain as we head through the day today with those rain chances increasing into the overnight hours. But here's a look at the hour by hour forecast by 630. It's still just a stray shower or two. As we look towards after nightfall, we end up with that more considerable rain in the mountains and the foothills. Overall, though, those scattered showers making their way down into the Piedmont Triad through the overnight hours and then early Saturday morning. Here's a look at 515 on your Saturday morning, though. Almost entirely clear by 815, perhaps another shower or two, and then we'll dry out as we head into the rest of the day on Saturday. We'll also clear out. Those skies will clear. Temperatures will still, though, only get into the upper 60s, which is cooler than normal. And by the time we head towards Sunday, we're talking about even cooler temperatures starting off in the 40s, getting to the mid 60s by the afternoon. So that's something that we'll be planning for as we're looking at some of that more late fall like chill headed towards our area. But thankfully for those headed out to high school football games tonight, it's staying comfortable for the evening. You might want to bring the rain jacket, especially our spots in our western area may end up with that passing shower. But as we're looking at the Ashboro Fall Festival tomorrow, very pleasant winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour and temperatures getting into the upper 60s. So we're noticing that change in temperature. And then if you're headed out to the Carolina Classic Fair, we will notice that difference by the start of next week as we end up with those cool temperatures on Sunday, staying breezy into Monday as well. Staying very pleasant though, our seven day forecast shows us too that we will return to about normal as we head into the middle to late part of next week, but definitely time to get those sweaters and jackets out if you haven't done so already. We will need them this weekend and we will need them for the mornings of next week as well. All right, thank you, Jacqueline. And coming up, a fiery crash leads to a stunning rescue.